Now in physics, if we want to measure a distance, we always use the metre. But sometimes we want, we want to measure things which are really small. Maybe we're using centimetres, perhaps, or we're using millimetres. And we're pretty used to using these at the moment. However, if you go in on a car trip, for example, you've got a big distance to cover, it might be more appropriate to use kilometres when it actually comes to measuring your journey. Now, the second letter, the M here, always stands for the metre. But then there's these letters in front, if it's a little m, a little c, or in this case, a little k. And these letters in front are what we call a prefix, and they tell us about the size of that unit. So these are some of the prefixes used in physics. We're going from really small to really big. Now, if we think about nanotechnology, we've got a little n to represent nano, and then we have micro. Now, we already use m for milli, so for micro, we use a Greek letter mu, which is like a u with a bit on the end. And then we've got centi, uh, killer, and then we've got some of the big ones, so mega, giga, and tera. And it's often useful to think about maybe computer storage where, you know, a terabyte is bigger than a gigabyte and so on. Now, in terms of the size, uh, a killer means that something is a thousand times bigger. Mega is actually a thousand thousand, so a million times bigger. And then these all just get bigger by a thousand each time. And if we go the other way, a centi means a hundredth, uh, a milli is a thousandth, and then a micro is a thousandth thousandth, so that's one millionth, and a nano is even smaller than that. Now when it comes to GCSE physics, we don't really use nano and micro. We maybe use mega, but we tend to very rarely use giga or tera. So the ones that you need to be able to convert from one to the other are milli, centi, kilo, and mega. Now that means if you want to maybe convert from kilometers it back into meters, what you then do is divide by a thousand. Or if you maybe want to know how many millimetres are in a metre, what you're then doing is multiplying by a thousand. I've got a few examples below that show that in action.